Hello, in this video, I'm going to tell you about combining forms in medical terminology. So what is a combining form? It's when we have a word root that ends in a consonant and we're attaching it to a suffix that starts with a consonant, then in that case, we need to add a vowel in between essentially so that we can attach the two together and that it flows more smoothly essentially. So when we have a word root and we are joining it with a suffix that starts with a consonant, then that means that we need to create the combining form of the word root simply by adding a vowel at the end. Um, so it's usually an O, sometimes it's an I. It has no actual meaning of its own. It is simply so that we can connect the two elements of the word together. Um, so we don't always need a combining form. It depends on what the suffix is that we're attaching it to. So I gave a few examples over on the side here. Um, if we look at the word root gastra, meaning stomach, um, if we want to attach it to the suffix itis, itis starts with a vowel, so we don't need a combining form in that case. We can simply attach the suffix to the end of the word root. But let's say we take that same word root, gastra, and we want to attach it to megaly as the suffix. Well, because megaly starts with a consonant rather than a vowel, that means that we just need to put a little vowel in between there so that we can attach the word elements together. Uh, so the combining form of gastro would be gastro. So in that case, we would use the combining form gastro to add the suffix megaly. Here's another example, hepat means liver. Um, if we wanted to add oma to the end, we don't need the combining form because oma already starts with an O. But if we want to attach hepat to the suffix sites, then we need the O in the middle so that we can combine the, the different uh, elements of the word together. All right, thanks so much for watching this video and I hope you have a great day, bye.